2 Timothy 1 verse 7, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am back with a step-by-step tutorial on how I achieve this very elegant French roll look. Enjoy! Hey guys, it's Tasha Brew and I'm here to share my hair journey with you, 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 and most definitely you. So this is going to be a really quick hair tutorial. I'm actually on my way to a wedding shower um, or a um, tea party theme wedding shower. So I'm going to do my best to kind of just walk you guys through what I'm doing. So everything that I'm going to be using today, I'm going to link, link in the description box. This is a spray mist. I love this thing. It comes in handy. But um, lately I've been really into clear bottles. And um, I'll definitely keep researching to see if I find a clear mist bottle because I like the way that it sprays. Um, but clear bottles, like clear anything, you can see what's inside it. But like literally what's inside the container and I love that. So. I'm going to part my hair. Basically what I'm going to do is not a bun. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do a bun or some kind of like French roll in the back of my hair and some kind of like in the front. So I'm going to start off with my spray bottles. So if you guys are wondering, in here are fenugreek seeds, aloe vera juice, and MSM powder. Um, once again, link is going to be in the description box for all of these items. And I'm just going to spray the root. Um, and then kind of just massage that in um, in the section that I would like to part in, okay? Um, I'm thinking about a side part. I'm using a rat, rat tail comb to do this. And I typically when I spray the roots of my hair, it just makes it easier to part in that section, especially since I'm going to basically be using my fingers for most of this and not my comb or anything like that to detangle um i'm thinking something like this yes yes do you like do you like at this point i'm not even trying to look for straight maybe something that can be like curved some kind of curvature And just bring this here. Okay. Okay. And I'm thinking. Okay. We're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. Okay, so this section here, I'm just gonna try to section it off and once again try to just spray in that area where I'm parting the hair. I just I just realized that it just makes it so much easier to um part my hair especially when um it's in this current state right now okay so another great buy are these alligator clips i'll link them below as well um and i'm just gonna section this part off like i know i want to do something in the front of my hair my hair isn't dry it's very humid where i am but i do want to apply some moisturizer to it so I am gonna run that through the ends really just the ends of my hair um, that's where I would like to apply it um, and for this style I am using the Camille Rose curly moisture bottle butter butter <laughs> I hope you guys can see that um, I've been using it for a while now and I love it um, Especially when it's on sale. <laughs> so when they're on sale and you're able to get a good, you know, deal or a nice buy, um, you make that purchase um, and stock up. Okay, so this is what we're dealing with here. I also sprayed, as you guys can see, my ends as well. I'm really just focused on my ends right now. I'm not even really trying to to detangle much even though I should okay so last but not least I'm gonna apply some my oils this is a combination of um, some oils I put together um, and I'm gonna apply that to my ends as well um, if you guys would like a tutorial on how I put my oils together definitely let me know Okay, 
I am gonna go in with the, ooh, that's a little harder to focus, Style Factor Edge Booster Stronghold Styling Gel. This set is the Sweet Peach set, so hopefully you guys can see that. Edge Booster. And I'm gonna focus on this side because I do wanna lay this side. So I decided that I am gonna create like this French roll effect. Um, I am gonna go in with my brush to smooth down my edges. I'm gonna actually apply some more in this section here. So I do want this style to last. Um, I just sprayed a little bit. Like some that back section, I kind of felt like it's a little dry. Okay, so once this is happening here, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to actually. Guys, this is harder to talk through and um, also like show you guys what I am doing without messing up, okay? You guys are gonna be my mirror for the back of my head. I'm just trying to smooth out my hair. Okay, these come in handy, of course, with the style. These are hair pens. Bobby pan pants. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the hair back and I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to basically pin it, pin it right here. So I hope you guys can see what I'm doing here. Pin it in this section here and then roll this side of my hair back, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna pin it, and I, I typically try to pin it near like the center of my nape, like this middle section here, in the back of my head, and then roll the hair over. You guys will see what I'm talking about. So I like to start on the top part since this is the smoothest part of my hair. And I'll start that back here and just bring my hair, bring my hair pins down while also put, pulling my hair back to make sure it's as smooth as possible. And I'm just gonna line them up with one another. Doesn't have to be even. The pens will be hidden with the hair that you're going to bring over to the other side. So, the direction that I went in with the first three pens was a downward direction. When you start to get to the nape area of your hair, you want to bring it in an upward position. It kind of just works for me. Once again, I'm, I'm sharing my hair journey with you guys, as I stated before. So, if you like some of the tips, um, definitely let me know in the comment section below. And if you have tips of your own to share, please feel free to share those as well. So, in this section here, I'm also going to apply gel as well. And spray. I'm going to add pens here. So these pens, you kind of do see, um, but you can always remove them. This is just for holding purposes. To make sure that my hair does stay put. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So basically what I'm gonna do is take the hair from this side and roll it. As I roll it, I'm going to also use hairpins to secure them in place. And 
right now this is the last step so i have here here that i kind of just want to bring up front as well and secure that up top as well for this section here what i'm basically gonna do is just twist it and a little spot here from the oils not the oil the spray I think I might twist it. I was thinking about twisting, but honestly, guys, we are going to play with a couple of different things here. I'm just gonna shoot. I don't know if you guys just saw what I did there. I just rolled it up, big old mohawkie fro, okay? Alright, so last but but not least, I'm gonna try to do my edges and flatten this down a little bit. Um and yeah, basically I'm done with the look. this video um if you guys want more tutorials like this like really quick easy styles please let me know in the comments below i know what you guys want um when you guys talk to me so definitely let me know what you guys think and let me know um what content you guys want to see from me once again this is tasha Bruin. thank you so much for watching i'll see you on my next one bye